actually sound terrible, but I do actually have to look up the spec sheet of what's all done to this truck because it actually has been a while and I forgot it all. So anyway, real brief intro here, guys. We are at uh, Cole Motors Freedom Truck Meet in Van Wert, Ohio. We cross in, it's just over the border. So uh, we are here, uh, we were here last year, really great event. Uh, this year looks to be even bigger. Uh, one really cool thing about this event, if you guys have not been here for next year, make sure it's on your schedule, is just literally the freedom. They got spectator burnouts that you go around this cruise route. It's just really, really cool atmosphere. Uh, there's nothing like formal about it, which makes it the coolest part. But anyway, put on your schedule for next year, but we're here uh, with our new truck. We decided not to really bring anything on a trailer. We just cruised up here and I was like, you know what? We're gonna bring the new truck because this stuff actually does actually have some engine work done to it, which we'll get into. And we're gonna dyno it. We're gonna dyno this truck. We're gonna see where it's at on a different dyno. We'll probably bring it home dyno on ours too as well. But really in the last video where we fixed the clutch uh, and got everything perfectly running well, Again, we just took a took a five, six hour trip with it. Everything is good. The truck is actually running really, really well. So uh, a 12 I, hour home and then we oh, did six hours up. Forgot about that. So the truck is running really, really beautifully. Really, really nice truck to drive. It's got some power. Um, but in our last video, we were still getting acclimated. It was the first time that we actually saw the truck. We were really more concerned about fixing it. We've had a little bit of time. Well, Dawson's had more, more seat time than anyone, excuse me, but uh, we've got a little bit more familiar with the truck and I want to go over the truck in in kind of a little bit more detail I'm gonna read off my spec sheet here uh, about what's done to the engine what's been done to the truck previously just like everything else we buy it seemed to come with a truck full of parts a bed full of parts uh, with the truck uh, the original owners plan was to actually lower the truck even more than it is now it actually is stock height uh, so suspension wise there isn't really much done to it. It's stock height and we slapped some very temporary wheels and tires on it. They're 22 by 12s, 35 12 50s. And why would we put 35 12 50s on a stock height truck? Well, because the truck, we are going to uh, lift the truck. It's a four door long bed. Uh, it actually reminds me a lot about how the 08 drove. Uh, just a fun, rowdy, as I literally just said, rowdy. <laughs> cue, cue rowdy. <laughs> Okay, freedom truck meet equals rowdy got it we're gonna lift the truck up and the 35s kind of fit uh what we might be doing down the road a little bit better it's a very very rare color to see in a monotone again it's a four-door long bed uh the transmission that is in this truck is actually a fully built super stick billet g56 transmission uh which is absolutely killer i love that it's it is it's probably one of the coolest transmissions you could put in these trucks let's go over the truck uh, I'm gonna pull it up here, but I wanted to do this before we dyno, before we start having fun with the truck, at least that way, if you guys see this video, kind of know where the truck started. Um, some paint match has been done on the truck. Uh, we're probably gonna go over that and just kind of like refresh it. The door handles aren't done. We'll probably do something with the cab lights. It'll get, it'll get kind of like, I guess it would be called the, the Greg A exterior package. A lot of paint match stuff. Uh, a lot of parts from Boost Auto, get the mirrors up to snuff. Um, gonna let cam do his thing um fifth gen taillights the whole nine yards so my plan for this truck is i'm going to actually be daily driving this truck for quite a while i actually really really love this truck yes it's not black but it is probably and dawson will will agree with me probably one of the coolest colors to see in person every single person that's walked up to the truck that's seen it in person is like is that factory wow they don't eh, it doesn't even look like a factory color which that's some of the main reason why when i saw this truck i was like we got to get this truck like it's 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 a it's a rare oddball so if you got a rare oddball truck uh like spec wise i'm i i, I, pre I pretty much probably want it yeah. probably pretty much want it so yeah, true, true 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 uh 2015 20 it's a 2500 truck it's not a 3500 truck which again is kind of a little a little bit odder in a, in a long wheelbase truck but it rides like a cloud so dark brown cloth interior uh we're probably going to swap everything to leather to be completely honest it's got the 8.4 screen has nav heated power seats heated wheel which is odd to pair with cloth i just i feel like this guy had a thing about leather for some reason because there's no reason why this spec of a truck shouldn't have leather in it 343 gears six speed it's four wheel drive obviously uh, paint match. It's got a gooseneck ball in the bed. It's got 625s, new head gasket, push rods, valve springs, 
SNS injectors, SNS 10 mil pumps, so they're 100% injectors, 10 mil pump, Steed Speed, 67.7 uh, turbo on it, bunch of parts from Fleece, coolant tank, AC reroute. My thing has been to buy trucks as stock as possible. I would almost push people towards that because the less people that you have involved with the truck, uh, obviously even we bought this truck broken and we had to fix it. So the less hands in a truck, most of the time is better but this does have a lot of parts that we would put on ourselves the fleece coolant tank the fleece ac reroute um the second gen swap so we fixed our clutch grill inserts that are going to go bye bye some other stuff it's got uh morimoto headlights which honestly no experience with them at all but they look killer on there um kelderman air ride accutair accu air tank pump all that stuff which I don't really think it's going to make its way on this truck, but I do have another truck that I think might might work well for. Dawson's over there smirking. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. A um, bunch of other stuff in, in the in boxes along with all that air ride, um, diff cover, valve cover, rock lights. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flight fab show hooks in a box. Really? Why did we not put? It wasn't did you see written. Those? It wasn't written. Did you see those? It wasn't written. I was like, we need tow hooks on this thing. Like, what? Like, everything looks great except it needs tow hooks. It's just weird. The trucks look weird without tow hooks on them, even if you're never going to use them in your entire life. Truck runs great, probably in the 750, 800 horsepower range. The truck made 640 last spring without the 10 mil pump 640 without a pump is probably losing rail uh we'll see what it does today but that's kind of like the overall spec on on this unit again the uh the kit the in, the color i mean in the interior i'm not a i'm not a huge two-tone interior fan but honestly it's uh it's actually growing on me quite a bit Post. we washed this thing last night Oh, Woo. look at this color, dude. It is, I'm telling you guys, like, everybody think, I, black will always have my heart. Without a doubt. Doesn't matter. I will always love black trucks the most. But every time we get something new and different, I'm like, like. Why don't I love this color why? more? I do. I just, I love different so here's your engine bay just uh you know just a basic bone stock truck uh nothing uh nothing real crazy underneath here uh really nothing to see but yeah just uh <laughs> just a just a nice clean stock uh factory engine bay exactly the same way they came from uh came from fiat from so nothing to see there i don't even know what you're even talking about that's a brief rundown uh we're gonna walk around the show uh have a good time talk to a lot of people uh i think we tried to buy a few trucks here last year uh we did even though we're just literally talking about a new truck that I just bought. What? You never know. <laughs> there is a black second gen for sale right next to our booth. So uh, we're gonna walk around, have a good time, and we're gonna get this thing on a dyno and see if it makes any more horsepower than 641. Who knows? Not really sure. I don't know if it feels quite like 800. I don't know. <laughs> Sir, what are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Hello, Lambo. What are you doing? We are guess we're going to uh, ghetto fog a truck. Doing gonna empty this half-used nitrous bottle of not mine, uh, so it's safe to transport into uh, an intake of somebody else's vehicle. For safety reasons, obviously. For safety, obviously. Oh yes. Oh yes. There she is. She's there. She's ready to rip. She's ready to party. For safety purposes only, actually. Those, those are dead. Those are so empty. Those are empty. That one, not so much. It's about to be. Yes. <laughs> we empty Apparently into a 22 Ford. Oh, yes. We may go boom. This is a fire extinguisher, everybody. Calm down. Oh, yeah. Just leave the hood cracked. Yep. And we got a block or anything? A block? Yeah, we set like a block a, there in the metal shield right here. <laughs> It ain't gonna grenade. This does have a warranty, right? Yes. Oh, we're perfect then. R.I.P. Next thing you know. You ever seen a 22 Ford get blown up before? You're about to. Because <laughs> you're about to.
that was that about four pounds. Uh, more than that. I was gonna say, that was full. <laughs> it stopped spraying. Did it stop? Yeah. Hey, what was the mile an hour on that? 100, it, it speed limited out at 96 mile an hour. <laughs> Hey, dude, you still got plenty there, man. Great job. Thanks. I don't get this. Hey, if anybody out there knows how to get that down to here where it's supposed to be, I don't I don't get that. So what are we doing? We're going to Dino. We're going to Dino. Going to Dino. I mean, how much horsepower do you think if we just shut the air off? Maybe it'll make 700 then. Probably. I'm so curious to see what this thing's going to make. Me too. But really, I... I do, and then I'm just like, well, I'd rather put it on our dyno, but... Well, I mean, this is just a test, you know? This is just a test. This is how you break in the new clutch. <laughs> how many miles are on this? Uh, almost a thousand. Oh, we're good. Did he put a freaking power stroke in his dog? Oh, wow. I think he put a power stroke in there. Wow. All right, what are your guesses, Greg? 720. 720. I want to go higher, but I'm just like setting the bar low. Really? Yeah. I don't know. Lambo. Lambo. What's your guess? 820. 820. He's giving you 100 horse. You want me to drive? You can drive. You drive it. Fifty, not bad, huh? That's about what I thought an 83 turbine would make. It's a 67 turbo, but an 83 turbine, like even full max effort, like 750, 800. You could push an 83 turbine to about 800, but you're out of where that turbo is really happy at. I was happy with that. Oh yeah, that's a great I mean, number. 750. Probably you, just gotta, you. you just got to create your own category. That's it. <laughs> Highest horsepower single turbo black horse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's a great gay signature. Out to yeah. 150 horse. Have him sign the six leader and get it back up here. That's what I thought. <laughs> Don't make me go get it. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I even let go. I've got 56 gear hurt and I'll still beat you. You kind of let a man with a tab cap talk to you that way. Damn. Oh, Damn. Oh, he does have a better beard than you too. Oh. <laughs> 
hey, that better go on YouTube. That, that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> Are you driving? Oh. Are you driving? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, sick of war, dude. Best. I mean, still never ran a five, but I mean, still never ran a five. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my wow. bad. That's that. We're was, going that, on the street right now. That was disrespectful. <laughs> I'm getting my hundred bucks from UCC. Let me tell you what. Give hey. me my money. Yep, but I will get you your hundred bucks. You can you can follow me right over there. Give oh yeah. Money That's what I'm working. Oh, right we're now. oh we're we're paying we're up. We're paying yeah. up. Okay. Getting, wow. So this is gonna be the death of Bernie here now. Oh, this is you're gonna kill it here. Yeah, because it survived UCC. It's down a hole. Has a little bit of a rod knock, and the turbo is hitting the housing. So I added nitrous. Small, small details. So I added nitrous, and now it's gonna die. So no nitrous on UCC. Correct. Now it has a, like a 200 shot in it, roughly. It will now die. It's now gonna die. It will now die. We'll I need, this I need a hundred. I need a hundred dollars for Mr. Ron uh, Maple here. Mr. Mr. America. Hey, do you want to ask if uh, Mr. Ron wants any pretzels? Can you go get pretzels? Well, thank you very much. So now you're 99. <laughs> <laughs> no, it Dang it. Mr. Ron, here's your hundred dollars for popping a tire thank you. Thank at you much, UCC. Thank you, sir. Before we end this video, obviously we're home. Can we just can we just admire just a little little lawn delete action here? Look at those stripes. I mean, I'm not gonna pat my own back here, but they're looking looking pretty crispy. But we're ending this video the same way we ended the last video. We're in the driveway. We are after the event, um, and we are just here with the new with the new truck. Hopefully that explained a little bit of the background of the truck, a little bit of the parts, and we've got a starting dyno number that we can kind of go off of. I thought that we might be in that 750 range, so kind of glad to see uh, that it did produce that horsepower number. Uh, again, we'll probably put it on our dyno and kind of see exactly uh, if anything changes on ours, just to kind of keep stacking the data against our, our dyno versus other dynos. Um, bigger, meatier, heavier, heavier wheels and tires definitely play into that a little bit so uh, if we did a wheel and tire change you might actually see uh, a jump in horsepower seeing that these are a little bit bigger but anyway guys that is pretty much going to wrap up this video just a uh, just a fun event to be at again van Wert, ohio freedom truck meet if you guys are looking for an event to go to next year i'm assuming that they will continue to keep having that event always a good time so that's gonna wrap it up we have got a ton of work that we are working on in the shop so plenty of great videos to come make sure you guys stay tuned hit the like button before you leave subscribe if you have not already should have a first gen giveaway winner here very very soon so guys make sure you give it a big thumbs up before you leave subscribe if you're not already and we'll see you guys in the next video very very soon